Hi everybody, it's Michelle Stelling from the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers and this is Q&A Tuesday. And this question comes from Yolanda from Fort Lauderdale, Florida and she writes, Michelle, how do I use the guided section? Um, she says most of it's pretty self-explanatory, but there are a few places that she says she gets kind of confused with. So let's go th uh, through some, a couple of the steps inside the guided. This probably needs to be a two-parter, but we'll see what we can get through. Um, maybe next week I will do a little bit more on the guided um, section. So basically when you open up Photoshop Elements, you normally go into the expert mode. Now there is a space in here that says quick and guided. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and click on the guided tab and it's going to put you into a totally different area and over here to the left you're not going to see any of your a lot of your tools anymore so if for some reason you come into this section and you kind of freak out because all your tools are gone maybe you just need to go ahead and click on expert and get back into the expert mode over here to the right hand side you're going to see all different kinds of things that you can do inside the guided section. All of this which is inside touch-ups, those are pretty easy. I think those are the ones that she said, uh, Yolanda said that she could get through. However, there are some other photo effects that are kind of cool too. So you can kind of go into each of these. Now I'm just going to step through a few of them. So let's click on depth of field. Now depth of field is when you want things in the background to be a little bit blurry and then something in the foreground to be pretty crisp and clean. So basically you can um, do a simple um, depth of field or a custom. So if you do simple, you can go in here and see how it gives you the A and B. And then you click on Add Blur. So I'm going to come out here, I'm going to click on Add Blur, and then it's going to blur everything. Then I'm going to go down to Add Focus Area, which is number two, and the focus I want to be on his face. So I'm going to click, and I'm going to drag out. See how it then goes ahead and gives the face a lot clearer um, pixel dimension? And then if you wanted to blur even more, you can blur more, and that's going to keep the face in perspective and in the nice crisp cleanness, and then everything else is going to be blurry. So you just have to kind of go step by step, and then when you're done, you just click on done. But I'm just going to cancel this, and then I'm going to go down to the next one, high key. Now high key, you can do it in color. Let me zoom in. Or you can do it in um, black and white. So let's just go ahead and close out of that. Now this is in color, but if I click on black and white, it's going to go ahead and take it down to black and white. This may not be the greatest photo for the high key experience. So I'm just going to click on cancel that, and I'm going to go into low key, which is kind of the opposite. So let's zoom in here a little bit. And then I'm going to scroll down here. It kind of uh, takes a little while there. And then I'm just going to click on color and you'll see that it kind of takes everything and darkens it up a bit instead of taking the high key. So let's just do the low key black and white and that gives it the dark look. And this sometimes works really good with like rugged, um, older men, um, cowboys, things like that. Okay. Now, like I said, there's so many different areas that you can get into when you go into the guided section. I'm not going to cover these, but if you jump on into our members only section, I have about an hour to two hour session on just the guided section alone. It goes through step by step on how you can use each of these individually. But I just wanted to kind of show you and Yolanda what the guided section is because she wasn't sure of some of the different things and what it was used for. You can jump back and forth between guided and expert mode. But take a look at it. It's kind of trial and error. Try out. You also have, um, if I wanted to, I could close out of this one. There's also vignettes in there. So let's just open up that photo again and bring that back in here. There's a vignette effect, so you just click on that. You can have a black edging. You just click on it, there's your black edging. You can click on white edging and that will get you the white edges to give it a light, a softer look. So take a look at that. Also be sure to like us um, on Facebook. Click the like button if you want me to continue doing the Q&A Tuesdays. And also click share button. The more shares, the more likes. I will continue doing this Take a look at our site, naods.com. We have a great members-only class coming up really soon, so sign up for that if you are a member. Thanks for joining me, and have a great day. Bye-bye.